Senator Karen, I mean, I'm sorry, Amy Klobuchar from Minnesota and her fellow gun control jihadists have filed a bill in both chambers of the legislature in Congress to try to make something illegal that already is, but they're targeting Glock switches and the like. I want to tell you all about this one. I also want to thank each and every single one of you that have purchased some blackout coffee. Guys and gals, of course, this is 2A. This is the best medium roast in the world. Don't ask, don't believe me, then try. But because of you and your support, two things to tell you. One, our investment campaign has been reopened because a lot of you have re requested to be able to do it. So we have opened it for a limited uh, period of time. But also because of you and the like, we have outgrown our facility. For a while now, our employees have had to work around things and bumping into each other. And uh, we thank you for that. But as a result, we're moving to this new facility right here. Now, this is a work in progress. It's going to be a lot of work, but we thank you for helping support Blackout Coffee. We thank you for your orders, and we thank you for being a, a true American who still values American values. Guys and gals, thank you for your support. Let's jump into this video here about this bill that Senator Klobuchar has dropped. She is a Karen. Here it is on the screen. It's S-1319, and they're calling it the Preventing Illegal Weapons Trafficking Act of 2023. So quick definitions here. In this act, the term machine gun has the meaning given to the term in section 5845 of the Eternal Revenue Code of 1986. And two, the term machine gun conversion device means any part designed and intended solely and exclusively or a combination of parts designed and intended for use in converting a weapon into a machine gun. Now, laws like laws already exist for this. This is kind of the same catch-all that uh, Matt Hoover from CRS Firearms is sitting in a jail cell for unconstitutionally and illegally. Same with Justin Irvin for for putting a picture on a piece of metal. The ATF has successfully prosecuted them so far. I'm sure there's the appeal is going on, but they have put them in prison for something that is not a part or a com combination of parts that do anything to a firearm. However, it's a gray area catch-all, and that's what Klobuchar here is looking to do for auto sears. Check it out. Let's go to the presser that they dropped on this. It says U.S. Senators Amy Klobuchar and Gary Peters and 15 of their anti-gun jihadist colleagues reintroduced legislation to combat the increased use and proliferation of dangerous gun conversion devices. The Preventing Illegal Weapons Trafficking Act would help tackle the ongoing gun violence epidemic by requiring federal law enforcement to coordinate efforts to prevent the importation and trafficking of auto sears, illegal gun modification devices that can convert semi-automatic weapons into fully automatic weapons, and seize all profits that come from the illegal trafficking of these devices. And that's the new part. Companion legislation in the House has been submitted by uh, Representative Spanberger and Kasten. Did you catch it? It's all about stealing yo money, taking yo ducats, if you happen to be making owning, possessing a Glock switch, an auto seer, or anything the like. They want to steal your money. That's the government for you. A quote from Klobuchar herself, As we work to tackle the gun violence epidemic that is plaguing our country, we must address the alarming prevalence of gun conversion devices that can turn ordinary handguns into automatic weapons. These devices that can be easily 3D printed or cheaply purchased online have devastating consequences for public safety. By preventing the importation and trafficking of these deadly devices, and by stopping traffickers from profiting from illegal sales, this legislation will help keep our communities safe and save lives. Here are the other jihadists that are supporting this uh, bill. If you want to pause it, you can see who they are if they're yours, but chances are if you live in an anti-gun state, they're yours. And again, the bullet points of what the bill looks to do Direct the Department of Justice, Department of Homeland Security, the Department of Treasury to develop and coordinate national strategy to prevent or intercept the importation and trafficking of automatic gun conversion devices. Ensure that proceeds from the illegal trafficking of automatic gun devices are subject to forfeiture. That's the big deal. They want to steal your money. 
and require that Attorney General include data and information about illegal gun modification devices in the Justice Department's annual firearms trafficking report. That's really all this is, because if something converts a gun to a machine gun, it's already illegal, uh, but uh, they don't get to steal all your money. So Amy Klobuchar wants to steal all your money, and they want the government to just take your money. Asset forfeiture. One of the biggest violations of the Constitution is stealing people's money for doing things that are an opinion of a politician, but maybe not necessarily in the Constitution. Uh, so frustrating. But I wanted to bring this to you because this bill is out there and this probably would get some, some support. Maybe not in the House as much. We're going to have to watch this because this isn't a pure Second Amendment issue in their minds. This is a, hey, let's get more money for, for the government. So I'm going to keep my eye on it, and I hope you do too. If you want to stay up to date on anything happening in the Second Amendment realm community, then subscribe to this channel down below. I'll bring it to you every single day. Today is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all of you out there. Uh, I really appreciate y'all because without mothers, we wouldn't be here. All right. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you more than you know. Thanks for supporting Blackout Coffee. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe because our founding fathers died for it and put it in the rules and regulations. And politicians can't take it from us. Take care.